Well, we don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. Oh yes, do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. I have no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir, and you are not among them. Only, there is one thing I will say. Count Emir's kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. Oh, <laughs> there you are. The exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Gracious, the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. Think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore.
thing. Another bad dream, Yuri. Put that rotten thing out of your mind. That tangled mess can't hurt you. <laughs> Hello there. I heard another sound, colored by your essence. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. Oh yes. I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. Ah, you met Yulan. Well, I hope that she behaved at least. The poor girl has overcome grave misfortune. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times, but don't think that makes her a bad person. <laughs> it's no surprise her little sister too has a heart of gold. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the Earth Tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer, sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself. And the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, then we have little recourse. Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness. A tragedy, if ever there was one. That he would feel compelled to renounce everything when the blame lay squarely with the mother. stone sorcerer. We study the stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust, born of a great rupture far across the skies. We too are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications, its utter brilliance. May you join the glimmering stars above.
have you done? You've wounded Count Emir most irreparably, such that he wishes for your death. A star, a fine mother. You will be. My shining star, grant me a mother's strength. Look here, at my fingers. I will be the true mother, and I will be the only mother. I desired to be your mother. As if our night simply never was. Count Emir, the stars, the sky. I see them not.